on Worldwide Gaming. Check out what I think of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. John checks out the top 10 MMO RPGs. Chris teaches us Civilization V in WG101. And Vince plays a live action horror game at the Whistler. Hello and welcome to Worldwide Gaming. I'm your host Ryan. I'm Liv. I'm Vince. And we have a jam-packed episode today, including my review of the excellent Assassin's Creed 4. Mm. Um, also, top 10 um, MMO RPGs. Have you guys ever played an MMO, like 400 hours worth? Yep. Yep. Yeah, well, That's well, the Old Republic, yeah. Is that the new one, right? Yeah, oh no, the Old Republic. The I Old think. Republic, yeah. yeah. I played that as well, and like, I only played for the first 30 days, which you got free. Mm. What about you, Vince? I played a little bit of WoW. Unfortunately, but um, RuneScape, you know. I'm sorry. Few... Yeah, I know. I was forced into it. You know who you are. <laughs> All right, enough about MMOs. Now it's time for the forecast. What if the Nazis won World War II? Machine Games poses just this question in the upcoming Wolfenstein The New Order. Will the outlook brighten? All signs point to a strong possibility. A new entry into the long-running Metal Gear franchise has been forecast, with Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain well into development. We give this a 2 on the WG Barometer. by many to be the game of 2014, we eagerly await the release of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're hoping that prediction is more accurate than the weather report. What, what, what are you doing? Killing monsters. To me, it felt like the Assassin's Creed series has been running itself into the ground. Too many unwarranted sequels that felt mostly the same undoubtedly lost them a lot of goodwill with their fans. Ubisoft have responded by releasing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, but is this just another Assassin's Creed game? The answer is a resounding no, as Black Flag has managed to recreate itself into the best Assassin's Creed game yet. Oh God, what do I do? Oh, I can't breathe. I think my heart Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch ya! Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag's story is definitely one of the most intriguing in the series yet. You play as pirate Edward Kenway, who wants nothing more in life than to be rich and lead a simple life. After his boat is destroyed in the open seas in a fierce battle, he's washed up on the shore with one of his enemies. A brief altercation later, he learns that this man is set to deliver a strange package in Havana with a hefty reward. Naturally, Edward steals his clothes and sets out to claim it for himself. Not having any ties to the Templars or Assassins, the two warring factions that are a constant throughout the series, he doesn't realise he's handing over a key to a place which can give unimaginable power. <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaks B! He's on Japan. I want to visit that. Impressive, right? As always, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag also has an overarching story set in the present day. The present day story is much different than we've seen before, for reasons anyone who has played Assassin's Creed 3 will know. You are no longer playing as Desmond, instead playing a nameless, faceless person employed by Obstergo Entertainment, a group linked to the Templars in the previous games. You are helping them capture footage for their upcoming virtual entertainment experience based around Kenway's life. 
really cool to see the Templar's point of view for a change, instead of the Assassins like the previous games. However, there are some familiar faces that pop up to tell you there's more going on than you're led to believe. Both parts of the story combined add up to one of the best stories in the series, and fans will love how this connects all the games together. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude and made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? After its brief introduction in Assassin's Creed 3, sailing has become a major part of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. After all, what's a pirate without his ship? While traversing the vast open world, you'll need to sail between the islands acting as hubs for main and side missions. You still use the wind to pick up speed, but luckily your ships can sail at travel speed to get where you're going faster. Or, you can even fast travel to previously visited locations. Although if you do that, you're doing yourself a disservice, as manning the helm of your ship to a cheering crew, then setting sail in the open seas to a chorus of sea shanties, has to be one of the greatest moments in gaming for at least the last few years. Naval combat is back with a few new weapons like the Devastating Mortar, and a hell of a lot of upgrades to make destroying ships and stealing loot that little bit easier. Looting will give you certain resources that will allow you to upgrade your ships even further. On foot combat stays mostly unchanged, with a few more weapons such as blow darts and dart hooks, allowing for some new and stylish ways to dispatch enemies. Although it still feels very much like any other new Assassin's Creed game. I can only sing the praises of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. The story is without a doubt the best in the series and naval combat is just too entertaining. If you're new to the series, it might be a good idea to read a bit of the backstory of Assassin's Creed games before jumping in the deep end. But series veterans should get it straight away. Anyone speak English? English? A little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbox. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for